because the letter of dismissal was on the 5th. I was arrested on the 5th. But I was only told of the reason of my arrest after about 10 to 9 days. I see. Yeah. What happened to you, the, the case relating to your arrest? There, until after some time, they said, okay, I know something about the issues of the, the board. And then. Kept where? At the NIA. Until when? Um, from September up to in November. Which year? Investigations. But I don't know what sort of investigations they are doing because the only one I was aware of and called at the police, that investigation at land has been completed. And then mm. I haven't got any communication from there. All right. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Now, well, you know, this commission is looking into GNPC in relation to monies withdrawn from GNPC or GNPC assets that might have been applied at the direction of the former executive. You were the finance director from, from when? Of GNPC from when? Um, it was from 2014, 2014 to the time of my arrest and dismissal. I see. Um, before that, did you work in the GNPC? Before that, where did you work? Yeah, I was, I was working with GNPC before then. In what capacity? As finance manager. Finance manager. Yeah. Did you have a finance director when you were working as finance manager? No, there was no. So you were head of finance as well? Yes. How long had, had you been head of finance at GNPC? Um, we, it was, uh, I was at GNPC in 2006, I went there in 2006, yeah. By then, uh, there was no accounts unit, so I was the first one in that. You are the first accountant? Yes. Okay. From 2006? Yeah. Until 2016, basically, you headed the finance department? Yes. Uh, I'm going to show you, um, in 13th August 2013, yes. uh, you, um, instructions were given for a change of signatory from Momodu O.S. Baji and Madun Sanyang, that's yourself? Yes. To the ex-president and Mr. Momodu Sabali. I'm going to show you exhibit BB50, and I'd like you to confirm whether you, you are the person who signed that document. the banks in which you had a dollar account or, or forex accounts is that correct yeah it's one of them yes and your signatures were changed from the managing director and yourself to ex-president and Mumu yes that's right I'd like to know whether after that change of signatures you did sign any transaction with regard to the Sky Bank account no I have never signed I'm going to show you um, two transactions in August before this change of signatories. One is for $150,000 cash withdrawn by Madun Sanya, and the other was um, $243,243. Well, we have an explanation for the $243,243,000 from the managing director. The $150,000, however, withdrawn on the 7th of August, Collect that transaction? Yeah, I can recall. Yes, what, what was the $150,000 withdrawn for? Yeah, this was the same as 
is the same instruction as that of the 243. As that of the? We did one of the $243,000. They are the same instruction. It's like one of them to be in dollars and then the other one to be in dollars. So the 243 was converted to dollars and then the 150 was in raw, raw U.S. dollars. What was, where were the instructions from? Yeah, I got the instruction from my MD through the, through OP. So. Through the? Through OP. He, Office of the President. Yes. So when these amounts were withdrawn, we went together to deliver the cars to the, to the Secretary General's office. I see. Yeah. What do you mean, uh, instructions from your MD through OP? No, what I mean, <clears throat> he, he did inform me about the, he, let, he, he told me about the transaction that, okay, this transaction is an instruction that was required, that is being sent for us to make this withdrawal and send it to OP. So when we drew the instruction, because it was to be delivered in cars, so he asked me to, be, to, to have my name to, to withdraw it when we went to the bank. So for me to withdraw it, so when I withdrew it, we went together with the MD. You went, went to the office of the of president the General, together? Yes, and then we hand-delivered it to the Secretary General. Who and was the Secretary General at the time? It was by then uh, Mumun Sabali, and okay. uh, Noah Ture was also in there. When you delivered the cash? Yes. Were you given a receipt for it? Yeah, the, when they received the money, they signed. What did they sign? They signed a voucher for that amount that they have received. So there is a voucher for that amount? The, the voucher was there, yes. All right. Do you happen to have a copy? No, I did not have a copy because, uh, unfortunately, when I was arrested, those documents were in my office, my previous office. But I later on learned that the office door was broken into without my presence, and I was not aware of it until later on. So I don't know whether the voucher would still be there or not. But it was there after the time of I was leaving the office. All right. We will try and uh, see what can be done to locate it. Now, um, the significant sums of money were paid to IDB, ITFC syndications. I just want an explanation. This seems to be in your regular course of business, but there are quite a few transactions. Who are these people? Yeah, these are the financiers for the, the fuel that we import. Say that again. They are the financiers for the product that we were importing, the foil products that we were importing. We open an LC, so they finance, pre-finance the purchase, and then at the end of six months, we pay them for the loan. I see. Okay. Yeah. Well, so it has been paid in, in bits and pieces. I see. All right. Um, well, thank you very much. Do you, by the way, do you have your letter of interdiction? If yeah, I you have can it. make I a copy available oh, so okay. we, we can we see what it was in relation to concerning okay. your activities. Okay. Um, I don't have any other questions for you. Mr. Sarian. Yes. yes. Who wrote your appointment letter? My appointment letter was written by the managing director on behalf of the board of directors. On behalf of? The board, the managing director wrote my appointment letter. So the managing GNPC. director of GNPC, yes. Okay, and your termination letter? Who, I, who wrote your termination letter? The permanent secretary, PMO. So you were hired by a corporation or terminated by central government? Yes, that's right. Thank you. Very well, you may go. You may leave. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, I have to check this.
Mr. Chairman, I recall Mr. Abdullahi Cham, um, the Director of Geological Department. We remind you that you're still on the oath, yes. and you may have a say. We requested for the GEO exhibit, please. Mr. Cham. Yes, please. Are you aware of any agreement between APAM and a Chinese company for dredging? the seabed for sun? Uh, no, I'm not aware of any agreement between these two parties. Okay. I'm just waiting for the exhibit to come. Did Mr. Did your department ever engage Mr. Tony Gattas regarding the um, regarding dredging for sand to um, address the, the really rather horrendous impact that mining has had on the coast, Sanyang, Gunjur, and so on. Actually, uh, apart being the only company engaging sand quarrying, and uh, the license which was granted was specifically for the Gunjur site. I'm uh, having realized the, the fact that the coastal environment has over the years been subjected to large scale excavations for sand, causing, you know, acute environmental degradation of the coastal environment, we as the regulatory institution, we are very much uh, concerned with that trend and our responsibility to make sure that sun is available at all times to the market. We normally um, come up with suggestions that credible investors can come in to try to come up with detailed proposals as to uh, the possibility of 
tapping sand from other sources, which could include maybe uh, going into the inland areas as well as the possibility of conducting studies, detailed studies, investigations of the, uh, of the sand that is available in the sea. But that requires detailed investigations. Mr. 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 Cham, that's a very long answer to a very simple question. Okay. Did you engage Mr. Tony Gattas to dredge sand from the seabed to rehabilitate areas that were affected by the sand mining? I can recall a, a meeting that was held in my office whereby we were expressing concern of the, uh, the depletion of the resources in the the Gunyu site. So then came with the idea of the possibility of even getting sand from the sea. But uh, at that juncture, Tony expressed intention that is something that he, will, he can look into. And at the same time, at that time, he was setting eye on uh, no big nourishment because there was a project at that time around Senegame area and uh, I can remember him telling us why can't I come in because uh, that project is not under our jurisdiction but we were emphasizing number one rehabilitation of the, the Gunjur site and he came up with the idea that he can even come in like for example dredging sand from the sea but what we told him that you have to come up with a detailed project proposal, which will not be dealt with only at our level. I think I can just explain a bit about how we operate. Like, credible investors can come in for investment in the mining sector, which will be looked into in detail. Like, as far as we are concerned, when proposals come, we try to look into details and first geological information needs to be adequate and the, the proponent should also come up with a detailed financial and technical information where that could be executed by that company. But we don't stop at that because our role is to at the end of the day come up with a detailed report to the minister responsible for mineral resources through our permanent secretary. Before, in the process of coming up with a report, we have to uh, consult the stakeholders like government departments and other... In okay.
question, you may do so. But first, I would like to clarify this issue regarding the dredging of sand from the seabed. Now, I'm going to show you um, Exhibit MS-38. This is a, um, a document that was um, tendered uh, um, uh, or produced by Tony Gatters to the Commission. Have you seen the letter before? Yes, I've seen this letter. You received it in your department? Yes, we have it. Now, the letter is basically is referring to a previous conversation that um, Mr. Gatters had with you and Mr. Jawa, who is your deputy. And he says, please note that Alhamdulillah Petroleum and Minerals Company Limited would like to be given the opportunity as a Gambian company to embark on a rehabilitation of the beachfront stretching from Banjul to the Senegambia area which has been caused by coastal erosion. You can assure the geological department that our company has the capacity, both personnel and equipment, to do this very important work. Now, did anything come of this offer? No, nothing came in because he saw a project going on around Senegambia. So he came and told us, why can't I be given this contract? And that is not on our jurisdiction. So this is the only letter that we receive, and it's not detailed enough for us to work on. Who's, who's, you said there was a project going on. Uh, the, the project was under whose jurisdiction? The project was not under our jurisdiction. Like between, whose jurisdiction was it under that project? Well, anyway, if I, I think it was under the Jeff project then, which I don't have any details. Okay. Yeah, because we were not involved. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. Was there any further discussion on this offer? With, with no, there the hasn't been any further discussions, certainly. Is your department, does your department have the, um, let me say, the jurisdiction or the authority to allow anyone to dredge sand from the seabed to rehabilitate the coast? Actually, dredging is part of, dredging sand from the sea is, is a mining activity. Okay. Whereby sand is uh, obtained from the sea, which re requires specialized technique and equipment. Okay. So that is normally can be treated under mining operations. Okay. But uh, after receiving this letter, what we re require from him is he can come and bring a proposal, a detailed proposal, whereby we will table it in consult, uh, we'll look at it, then we'll invite our stakeholders to have an input. Yes. I see. Okay. Before we come up with a final report or re recommendation to the, the minister responsible for mineral resources I see. through so our PS. That would require another license? Yes, certainly. It will require another, but there is a process. Like you table the proposal whereby... I understand. All I want you to confirm yeah. is that EPAM would have required another license in order to be engaged in mining sand from the seabed. Yes, really, certainly. Yeah. I'd like you to look at MS-37. This is, this is um, the contract which I refer to, just to, uh, for the avoidance of doubt, as we say, okay. to confirm whether you had seen it before. Have you seen MS-37 before? No, this is the first time I'm seeing this. Certainly, mm. okay. I haven't. Thank you. Okay. Did EPAM, again, just for the avoidance of doubt, did EPAM at any time, under Tony Gatters or, um, or 
dredge any sand from the from the seabed we are not aware of any activity you know we with regards to that Mr. Chair, earlier on you mentioned, if I heard you correctly, Jeff project. Is what do you mean by that? Actually, it's a project that we have no uh, like is on the is global environment facility. Ah. It's a project uh, coordinated uh, by the National Environment Agency. This is my understanding. Thank you. Sorry, you are required to produce information on the sand tailings on accounted for uh, on the sand tailings that were produced by Gamico, and um, and the staff maintained by EPAM when you took over as well as the Gamico local staff. Yeah, now, you just gave us a copy. I'd just like to give it back to you so you can confirm it and we can admit it. At, at, okay. Thank you. As well. Thank you. Sorry, can you confirm that these are the documents you produce further to your previous um, appearance? Yes, I confirm that these are the documents. Can, just for the record, indicate what the documents are. For the record, indicate what the documents are. Or the documents like this, uh, this one, sand tailings on, on, on accounted for by Gamico. That uh, means when Gamico mined HMC, heavy mineral concentrate, the, the byproduct is sand tailings. Yes. And those sand tailings were actually taken away from the site. That's what you mean by unaccounted for. Yes, because the what, what I mean is uh, the sand tailings taken out of the quarry without it being recorded by the department. I see. So yes. how did you come to that amount, that figure? Yeah, actually, the, the sand tailings being taken out of the site without uh, trucks stopping to, you know, give information of the quantities because of the lack of cooperation from, from them. We have, the only option that we have is to come up with an estimate resource calculation, having known the, the quantity of the HMC taken out of the site, which constitutes 10% of the overall because the, the HMC with the sand tailings uh, all, uh, all, all, always together, whereby the HMC constitutes 10% and the sand tailings 90%. Based on that, we came up with a calculation to try to come up with an estimate of the, 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 the quantity taken out of the sites without any records taken by the department. Okay, and, and by your own estimation, yes, based by on what you have uh, told us, what is the quantity of sand tailings that was taken out? Uh, about actually 531,433 cubic meters of sand. Repeat it. The 400, uh, no, uh, sorry, 531 thousand four hundred and thirty three 
cubic meters of sand of sand tailings. Okay. Um, uh, thank you. Now, the sand that was being sold, sand that was being sold. What what was the price at the time? The sand that was yes, being if, if sold. If the sand was to be sold, yes, you would uh, multiply it by what? Yeah, at that time, the royalty that needed to be paid on this, you mu multiply this uh, figure by $25. Could you give Mr. Cham a calculator, please? Could you assist uh, us to this actually, so that we have? Um, yes. You have the calculation. Yeah. I, I've come up with a, with a calculated uh, okay. figure. If I can be allowed to, yes, to produce it, please. Yeah. So. Uh, actually, when when you multiply this uh, 531,433 cubic meters by 25, the quantity attracts a royalty fee of 13,285, no, 13 million 285,813 dollars. That, that is for royalties? Yes, for royalty on this uh, All right. um, quantity. Thank you very much. Yeah. Can you have the calculation as well, if it's yes, together yes. with the... Actually, it is. Uh, attach it to the... Um, yeah, actually the... It's actually in the... In, in, in this document. Yeah. Thank you. What other document did you bring? Yeah. The staff. So you have something else to say about the tailings? Yeah, okay. I, I want to give you this to add to. Okay. Now, you said something about they are not cooperation, cooperating. Yes. Who exactly was uh, there that was in cooperating with you? You were the regulators. How can anybody not cooperate with you? Yes. Presumably, if they didn't cooperate, you could you could stop the operation. Because exactly, the, this was all about them having their own site to be taking these tailings, and I can say, at a point, it was a no-go area because our monitoring requires us to visit all the sites. I can narrate an incident recorded in uh, around 2009 when we heard of tailings being taken from, from a site and uh, the trucks involved were called white trucks. We team up with the National Environment Agency to assess the situation. The staff went there with the staff of the NEA, including a, um, a volunteer, I think a uh, Peace Corps volunteer from the NEA. A Peace Corps when, volunteer? Yes, that's what I, I think. Um, when they went to the site, just to investigate, to find out, because we heard that that side was used, you know, by certain trucks removing the tailings and that they refused to pass by our office to be recorded on site. They were adamant after all efforts. So when this team went, later they were, they were called at the NIA, the then NIA. They went and they were detained. It was an unfortunate in, uh, incident, and really, I can recall the role played by the, you know, the recorded ones, uh, by the then uh, for the, the, the former boss of NEA, Pamo Dusar, had to go there and to tell them 
is his responsibility. He is the one who, who actually engaged his staff to, you know, with the geological department to, to visit that site. So those areas were no-go areas because of, you know, the re re repressive nature of the then, you know, former officials from the NIA and others. Let me understand, these were the sites that Gamiko was mining from? Yes, because this site in, was in Batokunku, and Batokunku was a site where this HMC was being mined, leaving tailings. I see. Exactly. I see. But Gami, who, who is responsible for the tailings, though? Yeah, because the company... Who is, who is responsible for the tailings under the license? Uh, the, the licensee, because the, uh, and the licensee, the licensee was because it was, was a Gamico. byproduct of mm -hmm. the mining operations. Okay, that's Gamico at the time. Yes, but um, those tailings uh, royalties needs to be paid for. We understand that. I just want to understand. Yes. Some people with, in trucks were taking away the tailings, yes. but we want to understand from a regulatory point of view where responsibility lies. Now, who was responsible for the tailings and ensuring that they were recorded if they were going to be taken out? The geological the, the department is responsible for taking the records. Then at the end of a period, to engage the licensee to effect royalty payments on the quantity removed. So as far as your department is concerned, it's the licensee in any event who is responsible for paying for the royalties on yes, the tailings. Yes, they should be paid for. They yes, should, yes, I understand. I understand what you're saying. Now, I just need to also understand something regarding these tailings. My understanding was that these tailings were not all to be taken out. They were supposed to be used to rehabilitate the areas that were mined. Is that not so? Certainly, yes. That's a correct understanding. It's correct. Part of it should be used for the...